this video, you're going to learn how to use apart, except, and besides. This is a question that a student submitted. They wanted to know about apart and besides, and I'm going to add except because it's important to understand all three of these together. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use apart, except, and besides. So let's start with besides. Now, notice there's an S on it. That S is always there. It's always besides, besides. Now, besides, this is simply the same as in addition to. So you can think of it as adding, adding more information. So I could ask you a question. Now, I know you're learning English, right? Because you're here on my channel. But what about other languages? What about additional languages? I could say besides English, which means in addition to English. Besides English, are you learning any other languages? Now, maybe as a comment, you could simply just give me some additional information about yourself and you could say, besides studying English, I'm studying French and Spanish. So here, I want you to compare the two sentences we have. In the first one, we have besides plus a noun. In the second one, we have besides plus a gerund verb. That's simply your verb in ing, besides studying. So that's important for sentence structure. Now in these two sentences, you're seeing the sentence start with besides, which is very common. However, we can also use it in the middle of a sentence. And I could say, do you play any sports besides basketball? So I know you play basketball, you just told me. So I wanna know in addition to basketball, do you play any other sports besides basketball? Now notice we're simply following it with a noun. So make sure you pay attention to that sentence structure. Now let's move on to accept. Except we use this to exclude, okay? So you can think of it as minus. We exclude either something or an activity, doing something. Now let's say I'm allergic to lobster, shrimp, and crab, which is a very common allergy. But I eat scallops and salmon and mussels and other seafood. I could say, I eat all seafood except lobster, shrimp, and crab. So I wanna exclude those, cross them off the list. Let's say I had a party and my entire family was there. Well, except for my sister. I could say, my whole family came except for my sister. Now notice here in this one, I use except for and then a noun. But in my seafood example, it was just except and a noun. There's no difference between these two. The dictionary says that you can use either one. Both are correct. Now let's take a look at apart from. This one's important. It's not just apart, it's apart from. Now this one can mean in addition to, so it can have the same meaning as besides, but it can also be used for exclusion. So it has the same meaning as except. It can mean either. How do you know which one it is? It's simply the context, okay? So you look at the context of your sentence and from the context, you'll know if the person wants you to add that information or exclude that information. For example, I can say, I'll go on any ride 
apart from the roller coaster, okay? Listen to that again. I'll go on any ride apart from the roller coaster. So which one do you think it is? Based on context, do you think apart from is being used to add information or exclude information? What do you think? Put it in the comments. Hmm. Well, looking at the context, I notice a keyword. I'll go on any ride. So I'm starting with a lot of information. I'm starting with everything included, but now I just want to take out roller coaster. I want to exclude roller coaster. So based on context and based on that one word, any ride, I know that apart from is being used as the same way as except. I'll go on any ride except the roller coaster. I'll go on any ride apart from the roller coaster. Remember, apart from and then our noun. What about this example? Apart from learning English, are you learning any other languages? Hmm, what do you think this means? Am I using it to add or to exclude? What do you think? Apart from learning English, are you learning any other languages? Hmm. Well, in this case, I'm starting small, right? I'm only starting with one, learning English. So it makes sense that I want to add to this. So based on context, I know that apart from means the same as besides. Apart from learning English, besides learning English, are you learning any other languages? And notice, apart from follows our same structure, we need either a noun or a gerund verb. And don't forget, it's apart from. You have to use from. So now you know how to use besides, except, and apart from. And of course, it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave four examples in the comments. One with besides, one with except, and two with apart from. Because of those two examples, I want one to be for addition and the other to be for exclusion. And remember, it's the context of your sentence that's going to make it correct or incorrect. So that's a little more of an advanced activity. Take your time with it and really think about it. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying.